Pisces, welcome to your reading. Um, I wanted to do a reading for Pisces because my friend Matt reached out to me and I can't actually get into my Etsy account right now. So uh, here I am doing a reading for you guys. Um, ooh, okay. So I had a very interesting night last night actually. I went out to this bar with music and it was just me and the owner and I was like, you know what, I really need, to, like, something in my mind was like, you should talk to this person, and so I was just like, oh, hey, how are you, because he was just, like, over in the corner, like, just doing whatever, after he gave, got me my drink, and, um, then we started, like, talking about, like, a lot of different things, like, I don't know, like, ranged from, like, politics, spirituality, to, like, um, religion, and, and all this stuff, and it just ended up being, like, this crazy conversation, and, like, then it turned into, like, a five-hour game of pool with him and all of his friends, and, like, by the end of the night, we were all talking about crazy stuff, and <laughs> one of his friends was, like, worried because I, like, knew things about him without even knowing him, and he was just, like, how do you know, he was, like, an Aries, and I was just describing Aries' personalities, and he was, like, how do you know this about me? <laughs> And I'm like, just, and like, don't worry about it. It's okay. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, um, yeah, I'm a little tired today, I gotta say. All right, let's find out what's going on with Pisces, okay? Let's know with Pisces, the hard front reverse. Um, we have a lesson here, or someone's, mm, this could be like not traditional, um, like leaving tradition behind. This could be a lesson that needs to be learned regarding love with Ace of Cups upright. I'm seeing like a building with like a lot of pigeons on it or something. What else? The King of Pentacles reverse. Okay. Someone who could be quite greedy. Um, This is also a Taurus energy. Nine of Wands, okay. Um, I'm seeing someone like kind of come out of a resting period. This is my Pentacles. Hmm. So I'm gonna keep it as a challenge. The Nine of Cups kind of came out as a challenge. I believe this is also Pisces energy, if not. Oh, it's Cancer or Scorpio. I can't remember right now. Okay. I'm seeing, like, gold dust kind of, like, trickle down on someone's head. Like, so you could be receiving a blessing or something really soon. Maybe within nine days. What else here? Whoa. Yeah, more challenges. Um, yeah. Can I, I'm just gonna put these down here. So, Nine of Cups, also the Ten of Pentacles as a challenge, and the Three of Cups as a challenge, Nine of Wands as a challenge. Interesting energy. Oh, okay, you have a lot of options right now. I'm just seeing like many doors in front of you and you're trying to like pick a specific one here. I feel like one of them could be like wish fulfillment, abundance, um, good fortune. One of them, but I feel like whatever that is, is more like money. Like, you know what I mean? Like something is more like about money than it is about, you could have like a new job opportunity possibly. I'm seeing like a really tall building, so I don't know if that resonates with you, but um, I'm also seeing here some sort of emotional fulfillment, something that really sparks your interest. This could be cancer energy. Getting a lot of Taurus. Hmm. So the Ace of Cups in between the Hierophant in reverse and the King of Pentacles in reverse. There could be possibly three options. What else here? Oh, 
The lover's in reverse. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Sorry, my stomach just made crazy noises. I've been... <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, The lover's in reverse. I feel like it's like the third option. Oh, I see. This makes sense now. Okay. So, the Hierophant in reverse. I feel like you have the opportunity to do something really different that is like money-wise, money it'll give you a lot of money, but like you could be afraid to do it because you don't know if you're... I want to say like you may feel like going into a new job um, at this point in your life is kind of scary because you already know what you're doing in your current job. Um, in a way, you may have to change positions too. Like, I'm getting that message. Like, there might not be much of a choice. But whatever it is, is more money. And you will be pretty happy. You'll be like... Very much so, like abundant you know and with the ace of cups is like the next option i'm seeing like something that's just like really it really turns you on it's really emotionally fulfilling um and it's like yeah it just feels really good you know this could be a person that's in your energy like i said i think i get cancer energy from this because that's Three of Cups, I believe. If not, some sort of water sign. So, like, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, oh, my God. What's the other water sign? Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Yeah. At the same time, though, two water signs can be pretty intense energy. So, mm. it can be, like, overly emotional to the point where... You know it could be a challenge because you could if you're emotional and they're emotional it's kind of like I don't know it, it can get weird <laughs> how do I explain this like the stability kind of is wonky you know what I mean because you both make decisions based on emotions rather than logic a lot of the time and you do, I'm, not, I'm not saying that you don't use your logic but if you're a Pisces sun, you definitely kind of go in that direction a lot of the time, okay? And also, like, I don't mean just, like, making decisions like your thoughts are ruled by emotion most of the time, you know? With the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Lovers in reverse, um, you also have some sort of other option of, like, yeah, I feel like there's an opportunity to, like, almost cheat on someone. This is Gemini energy. <clears throat> what else here? Alright. I just got a message. Someone called a really nice bot. I don't know if that's you or the person you're dealing with. Okay. Uh, Alright, so yeah. There's a little bit of worry here. Um, with the Nine of Swords in reverse, what is this? Whoa. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Yeah, the options, Seven of Cups. Okay, so someone could be walking away to get something more fulfilling here with the Eight of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Star. Uh-huh. Okay, Pisces, you're, like, really emotional right now. <laughs> I don't know how I can deal with this. <laughs> this is too much for me. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, what's this Nine of Swords in reverse? It's like you're worried about making, yeah, again, worrying about making the wrong decision. If you do that, you're never going to make a decision. Like, never. You could really, you could have to cut someone off, I feel like, and go in, like, an entirely new direction, I'm feeling. Like. Someone from the past could be returning. A lot of water here, a lot of emotion. 
Someone here has gone cold on someone suddenly. Oh. For some of you, I'm getting like you did go towards someone while also with someone else or your person did and like someone here has been cut off from something. What else? Queen of Wands reverse. Yeah, I'm just seeing like a choice between like two women or something and or two men. It could be, it doesn't matter, the sex, gender, two people, right? A choice between two, um, we have a queen of wands who's, you know, a bit manipulative, okay? King of pentacles in reverse, this is greed. Greed, manipulation, disharmony, okay? What else here? My stomach won't shut up. Ace of Swords. Yeah. Four of Cups reverse. I'm just seeing someone take action on someone on someone, I guess someone. <laughs> it wasn't something, it was someone. And, like, you had to also, like, put your foot down about something as well. And I feel like whoever received this news was pretty disappointed. I'm seeing someone who wears black gloves. So you could, I don't know, if you ride bikes or, like, like a motorcycle. Or maybe you just wear black gloves at work or something like that. But... So work could be like, yeah, there's something about work. Like I'm just getting like a new opportunity at work and you're kind of stressed out about whether or not you should take it or not. But I feel like, I feel like you should. Hold on, let me clarify. What's this say? Yeah, okay. The cards want you to use your intuition here, because um, I feel like you're tired of tired of where you currently are. I feel like you're like kind of looking at your bank account and you're like, I need more money <laughs> or something, or like you want to do more things, and like the life that you want to live, you may not quite be where you want to be because of the past. Like something in the past really set you back to the point where it was just like. Not good, but I feel like this new job opportunity, while you may not know really what you're doing in the end, it'll end up being okay. And there's always like months of, of period of like of a new job where you have no idea what's going on, but it's okay. You know, you can't let your emotions feed into that. You just have to be like, just remind yourself that eventually, you know, whether it's three months, four months, 10 months, doesn't matter. As long as you keep trying and retain, retaining that um, information, you're going to start understanding, you know, more about the position and you're going to feel better. Everyone has to start somewhere, you know. Now I want more of There's something that you want with a person though. I don't know what's this for, cups in reverse, judgment in reverse. It's either, with a person, this is either saying don't make a decision right now or it's possibly a mistake or you made a mistake strength in reverse someone's feeling weak it's like you so desperately want to like stop feeling guilty or something like that what's the strength of the five of cups yeah you just want to like get out of a cycle like you feel like you know you're like stuck in some sort of loop and you like want to get out of it I don't know. I don't. I don't quite like this person here. I don't know who this is, but they are like constantly on your mind. 
with the devil in reverse, with the nine of pentacles in reverse, this is like um, very codependent energy. And I feel like you're kind of maybe teetering back into that lifestyle and I, I feel like you should be careful. Okay. This is someone from the past. Their looks could be like what gets you too. It's like you think about them when you, you know what, sometimes, and then you think maybe you should go back to them or something. The star, okay, can I cut through this? What's the advice for Pisces? The devil, release. Release what's not meant for you, Pisces. You know exactly what that is, okay? This could be Capricorn energy. Um, what else? It did, it did go over the water signs, though. So, release this emotional... I feel like you need to release this over-emotional vibe because you're like, really? Anything else? Any other advice? Yeah, it's all about releasing. You got to release. You got to really sit with yourself and figure out what this is that you need to let go of. I can't tell you what it is. You know, Pisces, only you'll know. Okay. You're being called to go in a new direction here. You're being called to look forward. Which is weird because I, I do like it when people kind of sit with themselves. But I see here someone that needs to look the other way. Like forward, not back. Or not like still, but not back but forward do you get what i'm saying yeah high priestess just use your intuition here you know what to do you know what to do all right guys that was your reading sorry i'm a little tired it was probably kind of weird but i'll talk to you later bye